Hi, boys and girls. We're here for another Daily Dose of Vocabulary with Mrs. Seymour. It's lesson four today. We've done an introduction unit about definitions. We connected them and saw some definitions. We read our story yesterday, and now we just like are learning what all these words mean. Today, let's, let's, learn, let's just dive into three more words, and I have some pictures for you so that we can really visualize what some of these words mean and then there's no excuse tomorrow when you take your quiz because you just know these words so great. I wanted to do the world's telescope. I don't have a telescope. Pretty bummed about it now actually after reading these unit of words. I think it would be so fun to go outside at night with a telescope and look up at the stars and look up at the sky and try to find things. I'm totally thinking about buying one now just from this unit, and I promise that's a truth. This is a telescope. Um, you've probably you've seen them. You've seen them on shows. Maybe you haven't. You've seen them in books. You've maybe gone to museums, and they have telescopes, and you can look through telescopes and look at things. Um, you look through, in here, and the telescope, you can see the universe. You can see uh, things in the sky. I should probably grab my book and make sure that I'm reading to the exact definition. Telescope is an object that makes distant things seem closer. It does this by using mirrors and lenses. Okay, so you can look through this and anything that's like way far, it'll actually just look really close. So you can see what's up there, kind of zooms them in. Okay, the next one I wanted to talk about was doo -doo -doo -doo, universe. Okay, the universe is what, think about what is universe? It's all the space um, and all the objects in space. So we think of like space, okay? The Milky Way is just many of the largest groups of stars in our universe. There's a lot of things in the universe. There's planets, there's stars, there's constellations, there's galaxies. So uni the universe is all the space that makes up all the objects all around us. These are just some pictures of universe. So sometimes you might say like, you're the smartest kid in the universe. Think of how smart that would really be. Think of the universe. Or you'd be like, I'm the funniest kid in the universe. That means like, if there's a kid living in Saturn or on the Milky Way, you're way funnier than them. So you really could be. You could be the smartest, you could be the funniest kid in the universe, but that would mean a lot. Okay, <laughs> good. And the last one that co totally connects our words today, astronomer. I think I chose the wrong profession. Teaching is wonderful, but wouldn't it be sweet to be an astronomer? And like, look out telescopes and see the planets and the stars and learn things about them. I think that's a pretty cool job. So you're pretty young. You get to choose what you want to do for a job. I think astronomer would be really fun. They're really smart. And they, let's read the definition. So we, person who studies the sun, planets, and stars, and other things in space. So they study all of those things in space. And they give us information about the sun, and the moon, and the stars, and the planets. And that's how we know stuff about them, is from these cool dudes, astronomers. Okay? Astronomers, universe, ooh, the universe, and telescope. Now we can visualize these things better. If you have a telescope, send Mrs. Seymour an email or a K-mail and let me know, like, what you see in your telescope. I want to know. That sounds way fun. Today's assignment is our hidden message. We talked about this in our um, Illuminate session before. So now you have time to go do it. Page 17. Go grab your book. Um, number three. The blank discovered a new star. Ooh, dee, 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 the astronomer. And it would fit. The astronomer discovered a new star. Okay. So you'll just fill in all these blanks with the definitions and the words. And it's so easy because you know our vocabulary words because you're so smart. You're the smartest kid in the universe besides me. <laughs> See how I used besides and universe? 
and then you're going to figure out the hidden message. And the question is, Daryl has two coins that equal 30 cents. One of them is not a nickel. How can that be? So, hidden message. Okay. Time for our connection, minute connection, minute connection, minute connection, minute. See of how many ways I can sing connection, minute. Remember, it's very important for you to have a good attitude. Cooperation with your learning coach and be having good attitude is going to help you get your work done every day. We know how great you are. As teachers, we know how great you are. We think you are the greatest kid in the universe. And we appreciate that you're being so positive, so happy, because it's just great to have a better attitude about things in life. And that's our Connection Minute. Have a good day. Get your work done, and then you can go play.